Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, I was asked by a YouTube viewer recently on how to do basically a kind of like a video zoom out effect uh, where they had a video playing, uh, you have a video playing and then it zooms out and you effectively get like a tree of videos and uh, then it zooms in on another video for example. So I just made a quick version myself uh, as you can see so we have a video playing and then it zooms out into a comic book style and then zooms out again so pretty simple is quite fast but this was very quick rough thing to do and uh, this is all done by myself no presets or plugins being done and uh, the actual effect the user referred me to was a YouTube video which obviously was slightly different but I put my own little take on it however the actual process behind this is exactly the same so in that particular situation it wasn't like a comic book effect but rather like a, uh, a tree with like one video and then three videos branching off it and then more videos branching off it it'd be exactly the same as I did here so with this particular video you need to do some pre-planning so the first thing I did is I actually created a comic strip inside of GIMP so as you can see I just got screenshots and I made this little comic strip in GIMP and I uh, exported it out uh, the next thing I did is I then brought that into Shocker as you can see here with all my videos that I needed click on animation, went to my animation layer click on add layer and matte layer because something like this is going to be huge and then I click I brought it in as you can see this is very very huge comparative to the actual scene then you go into controls put the transparency down a little bit and then focus over the actual video that you want so position your layer over that video there we go and we'll click on add keyframe just to remember that and that was it basically then we clicked on add layer and we'll add in our Kung Fu scene. There we go, we're actually going to scale that in the Y dimension like that. Uh, we'll drop the transparency down on that. And when it matches there we go, I think that's about right. In terms of matching the exact hand movements we have on the actual icon because that's where I wanted to zoom out on so at this point I'm going to add a keyframe to my Kung Fu layer and then maybe a few seconds later drop this transparency completely so going back to that increase the transparency here so now uh, I know it looks a bit weird but what you have to now remember is that on this layer down here realistically that's actually all you can see everything that's bounded by the red box not this side so if we bring this up now this is what it looks like if we increase that now we went to the world layer uh, we went to where I wanted it to have moved out from which is there uh, go back to the point where it's starting to dissolve out go to your world layer set a keyframe because you want it to set to only view that and then go to where it's completely I went to where it's completely um, faded out at which point I then changed this by pushing it back in the Z direction again now I'm gonna use this as a guide to show you so basically I just want whatever's in the red box is what I'll be able to see in the end so I'm gonna position this quite far back like that I'm gonna do that, I'll give it a bit of rotation like that. and I think that works go back to this layer increase the transparency click plus and 
and so that's what we have obviously the transparency stuff you don't have to do if this is only done because I wanted to show the comic strip effect in the end through this but if you didn't want the comic book strip effect you could just click you could get it to freeze frame and then it would freeze frame on that and you could pull it out as you wanted to and that's basically what I did and then to create the next part all I did is I, I animated the move to have that in the red box and then put a layer in put my video on that and then obviously moved out exactly the same thing to show the inter and that is basically it I hope that actually makes sense or makes uh, yeah makes sense if not let me know and I'll see what I can do in terms of helping you out and stuff um, so I'll show you another one um, if we do it again so if we click on add layer and we'll bring in a couple now so if we bring in draw Add layer and click in uh, original jar jump. Click in add layer, click in TN Jared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move these in the grand scheme of things out and about. just like in the original that had a thing. So again, our world layer is selected. Uh, I'll let it run for a bit. Click plus. And then at this point, uh, what I will do is I'll zoom out by using the Z translation inside my world layer. As you can see, you're going to have to bring it back quite a bit. Bring it up. I'll give it a bit of rotation to make it seem a little bit better. And bring it across in the other direction. Click plus. So as you can see, we have the exact same effect here. So remember, you cannot your final render will only be whatever's in this scene here. So if we actually zoom in on it like that, this is exactly what, pretty much exactly what your final render will look like. that is so as you can see very very simple effect to do and you can make your tree and make a and then you can go and zoom in onto that one or that one go down your tree and up your tree very simple uh, 3d manipulation inside of Jashaka very easy to do and it actually looks pretty decent once you put a bit of effort into it the comic book strip thing took me about 30 30 minutes to do so I'm sure if I put more effort into it a bit more time into it it looked a lot better uh, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Bye.